Hello everybody and welcome to ARES, or A-R-E-S, Extinction Agenda. This is a, I guess it's an indie title on the, on the, on Steam. Um, <laughs> I got it with a little pack and I just, it looked like a little action shooter that I was interested in playing, so we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, I just played a little bit of it, so we're gonna go actually and do it on hard and uh, mess around with it from there. So, the junk sector, 30 May 2094. I haven't actually watched these, I kind of just skipped ahead and went into play to see how the game worked. So I familiarized myself enough with the controls, and that's about it. Colonel, I've ah, it's going to go by way too fast. There's no way I'm going to be able to read that in time. So hopefully you all can read the text. I guess we're going to have it be treated with a slideshow style uh, intro cutscene. I like the music. So, um, from I. <laughs> I don't even know what the story is for this game, so I guess we're going to find out in a bit. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to have to go and find uh, Julia Carson. Yeah, it plays like... Or this game plays like a weird... Um, I'm trying to think of what a good description of is for the shooter. I know you unlock new abilities as you go, so... Um, and I can go and replay stages if I wanted to as well, so... I would joke and say this is as far as I've gotten, but no, that's not that's not correct. <laughs> um, I, I played through, I guess it was a decent bit of this, so. Eris, we don't have the luxury of time, so I'm going to cut to the chase. I'm Val Keel, the tactical support satellite assigned to this mission. From here on, I'll be supporting you with recon and additional support. Two rooms ahead is Darkster Carson's last known location. You'll need to locate her and the rest of the hostages and escort them to safety. I'm reading a lot of hostiles and a few ab uh, few abnormally large electrical signals, so stay sharp. Keep this channel open so I can relay updates. So, yeah, controls, WASD, shooting, wherever I point the mouse. Oh, this runs much better than on my laptop. Anyway, space jumps, down space rolls. And these little things that I'm picking up here from what I've identified. They are um, basically uh, money to go and craft new things. So instead of like finding grenade power-ups or something like that, I actually have to craft my grenade power-ups. It's a pretty fun game. I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't seen a boss yet, so... Oops, missed a couple of them. Oh well. There we go. There are three types of materials you can collect from destroyed enemies. You can create some useful items from these materials by accessing the recycle menu. You can create... Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, tab. Yeah, there we go. You can produce repair, repair kits and grenades from items from the items menu. Choose an item you want from the list above. The recycled cost of the item is the number of materials required to produce it. If you meet the required uh, recycling cost, you can produce an item by selecting it. The item will be added to your inventory. Also, you can use materials to upgrade your weapons in the Upgrade tab. It's going to be a little while before I get that. Like, it costs 150 of whatever the yellows are. I only have 14. 200 of the blues. So it'll be probably... I mean, I, I got half... I'm assuming what might be halfway through the stage. Or the stages are very long. And uh, I didn't want to see enough materials to actually make my... Uh, upgrade my, my gun, so... Ah, oh, thought I was gonna be able to make that jump. My cannon is ready. Signal me when you want to fire. Okay. This is uh, oops, F. Yes. Just blast the cannon inside the building that I'm in. 
Satellite weapons are fun. And most of the stages are relatively open-ended in regards to trying to get you to go and explore places. For instance, I come up here and I'm presented with this walkway, but I can go down. Oops. Apparently all the enemies will sit there and respawn as I go around, so I have un literally an unlimited amount of uh, resources I can collect if I take the time to just grind. This is what I was going to, though. I don't remember what drops... Oh, yeah, just a bunch of this stuff, so... Oops. Oh, yeah, that damages me. See, I don't know if I can get through that unless I get some... I, As I said, you can come back to stages from what I read, so... I'm assuming once you get some of the new abilities that I'm about to pick up soon... I will be able to uh, do just that. Oops, what the heck happened there? It's like my jump stopped working for a minute. This is as far as I've gotten, so I beat this guy and said, you know, I'll leave it up to being a blind run later on. I can't, I, I don't know how to beat him without taking damage, though. There we go. So, right trigger, throw the grenade, down and right trigger will do on the ground, up will do this flip thing. That is the power of the grenades in this game. Okay. I don't know. No, nothing over that way, so. Ah! Oh. See, I don't want to use it, though. There's an achievement in the game to make it through a stage without using a health pack, so I'll probably have to just do that later, since it apparently is part of the training required. And I can't get up to that yet. I tried hella hard to do that. Okay. Now, this is officially farther than I've been, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> I should have just kept going when I was playing earlier. I thought I was going to be able to dodge that. So this is what the bosses are like. The flashing light's pretty bright. At oh, man, what? Well, that's not very fair. Didn't exactly display what he was about to do. Nice shooting. I'm not aware what that was, but it seemed rela uh, related to the anomalies I was picking up earlier. I'm sending the data to HQ now. Uploading combat logs. Primary objective, rescue hostages. Until we hear otherwise, our orders stand. You'll need to head down to the recycling plant and continue your search for the survivors. Sounds so goofy being a female computer with... Wolf's voice. Interesting. Sweet. I didn't find very many secrets, but I guess that'll be some... Uh, two data cubes? Almost got enough materials to max out. 
Um, damage taken from the boss, 40. I was allowed 200, so I got a good score. Um, did more damage than expected. Didn't get as high a combo. Beat it in under part time. That's awesome. Okay. I need to find the data cubes. I don't know where to get them all. Oh, oh, you know, there's one in probably in that electric bar field. And then the other one was that thing that um was sitting up out of reach. Okay, stage two. Eris, I just received a transmission from United Earth. An elite reinforcement squad, call sign Taurus, is inbound and should be arriving shortly. Was hoping to not take damage, but okay, that'll work. What is this? Oh, one of the cubes, yeah. You've collected a data cube, which unlocks valuable game content. Data cube blue unlocks character info, while the power cube red unlocks additional power-ups. Data cube and power data and power cubes are permanently stored in your database. To access them, open the recycle menu. While in the recycle menu, press E to access the database. Character information and new abilities will be described here. You also have access to the stage selection menu. Push the pan button again to view it. Oh, so there's only five stages in the game. Can I upgrade this yet? No. I don't get it. Okay, so... Bonus increases Eris' energy by 10. I energies my hit points, I guess, so... Who's, uh... Okay. Little dog-like robots now. Again, with the getting hit. It's not exact. The enemies aren't exactly the uh, most difficult edit things to plan out. I'm hoping this takes me someplace nice. That'll have to do, I guess. Actually, I think I have enough to upgrade it now. Ah, oh, what am I missing? Oh, ten reds. Okay, that should come by pretty quick, I guess. I hope it comes quick. There we go. So this is that information. I guess that's going to be things along the lines of the um, the enemies. Why can't I add? Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just information. Okay. And that should be enough to actually upgrade this thing. Yes, indeed. More damage. Hopefully. Yeah, it's a little bit more damage. It's taking one less shot to kill things now. Okay, it's it's definitely killing things much faster. I suppose I should have gone a different direction, actually. I'll have to come back through here again later. Try to get back up there. Oh no, we're gonna go and look elsewhere really quick. Just to make sure I've got all my bases covered before I... 
Oh, good call. Good call. Aw, how am I supposed to get up there? I guess I have to blow the blow the floor out from under that thing to bring it down to me. Can't get back up either, so that's definitely the end of that. These rooms are not exactly the most, like, <laughs> interesting rooms. Oh wow, he went down really fast. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to uh, upgrade this gun again if it's killing things this fast. Okay, another mini boss. Yes, indeed. There we go. I'm about to die, too. According to Dr. Carson's report, Zytron binds to the host's wiring, infecting them from the inside out. If her findings were accurate, then this gas must mean the robot was recently infected. <laughs> yay. Pity I just upgraded my weapon, so... Um... Oh. Aha! I wish I would have waited. That's awesome. Ah, I'm actually gonna get that much sooner. That I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna level this one up first. It it just does a, a lot more damage. Granted the machine gun might not be a horrible investment. This is nasty, actually. There we go. I'm, like, razor's edge right now, trying to get through here. Oh, there's a secret over there. Let's, uh, switch grenades and blow it up. Really? Kind of hoping for one of those uh, other. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and make a uh, make a repair kit. <laughs> Might as well have one of each grenade too. So. Didn't even see that coming, no way. And that is that. Almost up to being able to level up again. Really? There's another thing over there? Oh, that looks like it's going to be rough to get. Oh, darn it. 
Oh, come on, jump ri- Oh, man. I think I do want to use a gamepad next time. Shoot. Seems like it would be much easier. There we go. Energy up. I can't go that way, so... That's pretty much it. That's crap, dude. No way. Well, now we can see what death is like. Uh, continue, why not? Huh. It looks like it kept it. Unlocks midair jump. 10 energy. Protection from death if Valk's bar is maxed out. That's that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> nope. Aw. Oh. I need to get over there somehow. I have an idea, though. And it involves doing... M making use of those things. It involves being tasteful about it, too. Hurry up. Oh, I could have just rolled on top of it. What did that do? Gave me a bunch of those... a uh, bunch of resources, apparently. Okay. Now that we've made our way up here, let's see what we have to... Nope, nothing over here that's... ...worth anything. There we go. Okay. Boss room, probably. That's crap! It's, it, I hate how this thing just dumps me into enemies. There we go. Again with the the dumping on enemies, it's just there we go. Trying to get as much um many of these uh things as possible. Gonna have to go this way first. Figure out some way to get over there. I want to check over here first, though. Well, I guess there's only one way to go now, so... This is probably the boss. Oh, wait. Hold, the f hold that thought. Which direction should I go? Damn! I should have gone the other way. That stinks. Oh, wow, this looks interesting. What? He's gonna do that to- Oh, good- Good call, sir. Good call. Wait. Okay. Yeah, oh, what? They still attack you whenever they do that, too. Uh-oh. Note to self. <laughs> that was not cool. No! Lame! Lame! Please let me start in, like, the room before that. Awesome. Get a chance to redo this. That was it? Was it worth it? I can't upgrade that yet. I need, like, 200... Ah, oh, damn. I'm, I'm a distance away from that. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so we remember this time. Yep, there we go. We got it figured out. Except for that part.
Got this boss figured out now. Except for doing bonehead stuff like that. What the heck am I doing? Uh oh. I think I timed that wrong. Maybe I didn't. I did time that jump right, though. Ah, come on. There we go. If I'm ever designing robots, I'd have to have a really good reason to design a robot to look like that. With the bridge down, you'll have to jump across. Give me a moment to activate your suit's power boost module. Anal analyzing schematics. Calculating optimal layout. Activating boost assembly. Alright, you're set. The modification allows your suit to draw energy from a grenade explosion and use it to instantly modify your movement vector. Hold left to right when releasing a fully charged grenade. Hold up when releasing a fully charged grenade to do a rocket in the direction. Requires one grenade. There we go. And now I can go get that one uh, power or data cube. I know I missed one that was going on that where that area where I had where I took the wrong direction. Man, I hate rambling. Holy crap! Your player ranking is now C, so my max energy is increased by 20. 